All right, you guys, so I changed up the setting a little bit because I thought if I was sitting with my girlfriends and talking about beauty products and we were doing our makeup together, getting ready for something, I wouldn't be doing that behind a desk with a bunch of lights and cameras. I'd be like casually talking and just visiting. So that's why I've changed up the setting a little bit today so we can just enjoy some, you know, some girl time and talk about, you know, things like beauty products that might not be worth your money and some that are. So this is not an all Debbie Downer video. I don't like to have negative videos like that. You won't see me put out thumbnails that say this, you know, worst product ever, don't buy this product, whatever. And just know that I have paid for every one of these products with my own money, with the exception of the Doris uh, hair extensions, which I shared with you guys a couple weeks ago. And I've just been loving them. I don't have them in today, but I am gonna put a couple in while we're here together so you can see how easy it is. Um, but they did send those to me as a gift. That's it, they didn't pay me to talk about them. So um, I don't normally accept product for promoting their product on my channel. If you've noticed, I don't do a lot of product promotions. It's just not my thing. And I respect those that do it. I just don't, that's just not my format. So let's get into some of the products that, uh, what should we do with the good ones or the not so good ones first? Let's just sprinkle them in because too much of negative would be just too much to bear. All right, so the first one is a conditioner and this is the Kevin Murphy Repair Me Rinse Conditioner. And I heard about this on a podcast. I think it was Breaking Beauty, but it was last year. And I had it in the cupboard and I wanted to wait till my other conditioner of Kerastase was gone. And you guys know me, it takes a lot to get me to switch my hair products because I have used Kerastase from shampoo to conditioner to deep conditioner to pre-treatment to heat protector to shine. The whole gamut, the whole line from start to finish has been my holy grail for as long as I can remember. In fact, I lived in, when I moved to Georgia from Seattle the first time, this was in like 2002, I could not find a salon down there that carried Kerastase. And I'm sure there was one. I was just new to the area and trying to figure out you know, how to get around the 285 and then you've got the 75 and the 85 and it was just a lot. And then you throw in Spaghetti Junction and it's a whole nother situation trying to learn how to get around in Atlanta. And those of you that live in Atlanta, you know what I mean. It's one of my favorite cities of all times though. I still have some very good friends there and if I wasn't where I'm living now, I would probably go back to Atlanta just because I loved it there. Anyway, I could not find Kerastase anywhere. I was calling salon after salon and I finally just reached out to Kerastase themselves in Paris and I felt so bougie like oh I'm having my Kerastase shipped from Paris it wasn't that bougie at all it was just back then it was 2001 2002 so I just reached out to their 800 number I bought it online they packaged it and shipped it to me but it just sounded very I, I never told anybody that I was having my Kerastase shipped in that's how loyal I am to that brand I love that brand that not sponsored by Kerastase so when I heard about this one I thought you know what maybe it's time to just once in a while sprinkle in something new I've done that periodically like once or twice a year I'll stray and then I'll come back and I shared it with you guys last year with the Olaplex purple shampoo that I used to use to just get out some of the brassiness so this Kevin Murphy Repair Me Rinse is the one that I have. This one specifically is formulated to strengthen your hair and to get your hair just overall healthier. And I just needed that. It's like other lines that are found only in salons. You have to sort of figure out which salons carry it. I just went onto their website and looked up my local area and it gave me the name of a salon that I had actually had never heard of. The salon owner was there and she said they sell a lot of this and the shampoo. So something you might wanna check out if you just find that your hair just needs some strengthening, then that's a brand I was happy with. All right, let's go to, let's dive into Jones Road. Um, I have really tried to think about how I wanted to give this review for Jones Road because I purchased two of their products. I purchased the the um, WTF, What the Foundation, and I purchased the Miracle Bomb that is, you can't go onto YouTube without seeing that ad for their Miracle Bomb. So I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm up for trying it. Let's see what these two products are all about. So starting with the WTF the foundation, it's a cream foundation and I have it in the color Light Claire. As you know, Jones Road is a clean and a cruelty-free brand. It was started by Bobbi Brown from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. It's not a tinted moisturizer and it's not a foundation. It really sits in a market, a space all to its own, right in between. It's more about complexion. There's wax in here and there's oils. So you have to know that going into it. And I, after using this for a few times and I was really trying to figure out how to best describe it, 
I think that one of the best ways to think about this is if all things were equal and you liked your gas vehicle and you liked the electric vehicles, Teslas for example, when the Tesla first came out, were you somebody that said, I'm gonna rethink my entire driving from point A to point B. I'm gonna get out of the habit of stopping where gas stations are. I'm gonna just figure out where my next station is to charge it and restructuring and rethinking a behavior that you do almost every day and have done the same way for days and weeks and months and years. And if you were like, gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm fine with that. I'm ready to change my whole way of driving. That's what I would say, if you like that, then that's a first qualifier. The second thing to think of is if you have dry skin and you like just natural look to your skin and you don't like the feel of makeup and you don't like the look of makeup, you truly want, this sounds so cliche, your skin but better, but that's really what you want. You want your normal skin, whatever it looks like, to come through just with a little bit more of a, of a glow to it, then I think you would like this. It is an interesting formula. As I said, it's got a little bit of wax in it. It's got oil in it. The texture feels much more like a light cream. And many of the reviews that I saw, people had said it takes away the redness in your skin, but it doesn't do much for, for coverage. There's not much pigment to it. In fact, there's hardly any pigmentation at all. The amount that you see there sort of goes away when you put it on, but it gives your skin a beautiful, healthy glow. I'm more of a medium to full coverage kind of gal. Um, there are days that I will go without makeup, but if that's the case, I'll just add some moisturizer on and then I'm set. I don't normally go out with that kind of a natural look on. So this just wasn't for me. You have to think about it differently. I think that's the biggest thing is it's not gonna behave like any product that you've ever used before. But if you have really dry skin and you are looking for a beautiful look to your skin, then I think you want a product that doesn't behave the way that other products have behaved. It lasts, well, let me just show you the two different hands. That may not give you a true perspective, but it is a beautiful finish for those that have a dry skin and don't need a lot of coverage. It has a bit of a scent to it. It's a light scent, but a scent that you can definitely tell is there. It's really creating a new segment in the market, and I think there's a place for it. And I think if you've got the right type of conditions with your skin, because this has oils and wax in it, I wouldn't recommend this for oily skin. Even if you were to put a primer on it, I think the primer would move. I think the primer would ball up if you've ever had a product do that. I think between the formula of your primer and this, you might run into some texture issues. In terms of normal to combination skin, I think again, you'd be okay if you put it in the areas where you're dry and then maybe shy away from the areas where you tend to get a little bit oily. I think what I'll do when I go through these products is just tell you if it's a purchase or a pass for me. Um, and that way it just, that'll make it a little more fun instead of going bad, bad, good, good, bad, no. So this next one is Jones Road. This is their Magic Bomb. You guys, again, have probably seen this everywhere. I ordered it in Flush, which is said to be their best-selling color. This sells for $38, I believe, and that foundation sells for $44. When you look at other cream blushes in this price point, this is a significant more amount of product that you get, so that was nice to see. And again, this is the color Flush. It's plastic top, plastic bottom. I love that. Spend the money in the product, the research, the development, the quality of the ingredients, better than the packaging. As long as I can close it and it doesn't make a mess, I don't care. The thing with this, you guys, is the top is almost like a candle in the sense that it's a harder wax, so you have to push down past that first layer to get to the actual product. If you just try to use the product on the top, you don't get anything. You have to push down into that. I didn't love that because if you have nails, once you push it down, you know what happens. It just, it's another mess that now you have to go clean up and I'm looking for efficiency and improvement in time. I'm not looking for steps backwards that have me going to do more cleaning. But that being said, you could put this on with a beauty sponge. It is recommended that you use your fingers because the warmth from your fingers helps to warm up the wax that's in here. It's an interesting product and maybe I'm realizing I just don't like change. Maybe that's what this is about. Maybe I just don't like change. It was hard to get enough color payout for it to show up on my cheek without having to add it and add it and add it. And this doesn't really layer. If you kind of imagine pouring warmer wax on top of warmer wax, it doesn't really allow itself to build. It just kind of keeps melting a little bit. And that's a bit of an exaggeration. So just, I wanted to give you guys an idea of the visual for I'm struggling with. I just didn't find that I was able to get much of a color payout from it. Now again, who this is ideal for is those of you that have dry skin that would wear a foundation like that 
and maybe just want to add a little bit of that color just underneath your cheeks. You can also use this on your lips. It's a very soothing, nourishing, hydrating lip balm as well. This is a good product. It's the perfect product for those that have the right circumstances. If you have oily skin, I don't know that this is something that you would reach for, but again, dry skin, combination skin where your cheeks are dry, where you'd be placing this, then you may really like it. I didn't see if no, this one doesn't have a, a, a scent to it at all. I love the concept of these products, and what I really love is that Jones Road is just pushing the boundaries. They're innovating, they're thinking differently, they're thinking outside the box, and I think these two products serve a part of the market that gets overlooked often, and that is older women with dry skin. I, I hear from you guys a lot that that, do you want more tutorials? You'd like to know what skincare really helps with that, because a lot of the marketing and the products that we see in the beauty space are not geared towards older women with dry skin. And not that these are only for older women. These would look beautiful on anybody that has nice looking skin and wants to just show their best skin. All right, next we're going to another product that I would highly recommend in the purchase category, and this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I have it in color 3.75. This is a medium coverage concealer. Where's my little mole right there? It's a medium to full coverage concealer. It dries down to be more of a satin, I would say, not a shine at all. Luminous, I'd say luminous is probably more fair. I found that it didn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles as long as I took time and really pressed it in and then set it with a powder. I found this one to be a little bit thinner consistency and a little lighter coverage than the Giorgio Armani uh, power fabric, which is this one. So here's the luminous silk and here's the power fabric. I actually think I like the power fabric a little bit better. Don't mind the difference in color. That one's cool compared to this one is much more warm. The Luminous Silk is a little bit lighter coverage, doesn't cover quite as much. If you don't have discoloration under your eyes or you are a color corrector, for example, then you may not need the thicker formula. This thinner one might be all you need. Again, it dries down to be more of a luminous finish. It's not mattifying, which is great. And I didn't find that my eyes felt more dry underneath after wearing that. I find that I reach for the Power Fabric a little bit more often, but that is partly because I need a little more coverage and I like a more full coverage. So I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. You just need to find the one that works best for your specific circumstances. Lighter coverage, medium to full coverage, and that's if you're a big Giorgio Armani fan. You guys, I had so much fun on that video. Hopefully you've noticed how nice my eyebrows have been lately. I'm just kidding. I, I do use this though. You can tell this is the one I use. Um, I don't know why I'm even using the other ones. Maybe I just want to have options one day. Maybe I just want to have a different brow. I have loved using this because I thought my eyebrows were shaped pretty nice. But once I held this template up when I filmed it with you guys a couple weeks ago, I thought, oh my gosh, my eyebrows although I think they make a good shape, once you put them in an actual good shape, you realize how crooked or uneven or just out of an actual shape that they were. So I've been using this. If you didn't see that video, it's just this stamp that you put up to your eyebrow and then you get the color that you want. And the, these are on Amazon. I think the whole kit is about 34, or maybe $39. I'll link it down below if you want to see. But once you get the template that you want, you really just use the stamp. And from that perspective, it's just so easy. My brows take no time at all anymore. You just put it up to your eyebrow, stamp. I mean, you guys know you've all stenciled before. That's how easy it is. You just have to remember that after you've stamped, there is product on the outside of your template. So when you go to put it on this side, you have to wipe all that off or you've got a whole lot of bad eyebrow day going on and then you're gonna be really frustrated and probably just throw the whole thing away. And don't do that because there's a lot of value in this product. Once you put the brows on with the stamp, then you can go back in with a clear brow gel, for example, and just comb through it and it really allows your brows to stay in place. So for me, this is definitely a purchase. Next up is makeup from Mario, and I guess that's a that's a spoiler alert if this is a purchase or pass because it's back in the box. But the only reason this is back in the box is because I got the wrong color. I think if I had got the right color, I would really like it. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum, and I I was really excited to try this because I've had a few of his products and it's it's been sort of hit or miss. Uh, but this one had good reviews and the lady at Sephora said she has sold a lot of it and she had it She really liked it. So it is said to moisturize your lips hydrate them and leave them looking Hydrated as well as giving your lips an extra boost to plump when you're putting on lips That's the two best things moisture plump good. Well and loud long-lasting we need it to last a long time So I did wear this it did last a while. I just got the wrong color it that would be really pretty for fall and 
This one smells like, this is called cinnamon, I think. It smells like cinnamon. It smells like that fall candle that you can't wait to light. That, but in a, in a very light, light scented way. It's not overbearing at all. So very moisturizing and I'm always looking for a good lip gloss that just gives you a little bit of color, but lots of hydration, lots of moisture when the, on those days that you don't wanna wear a full glam, full colored, full pigmented lipstick. Um, this might be a really nice one to try, especially if you have more drier lips. So again, this would be a purchase for me. I just need to go get the right one. All right, what will not be a purchase for me, this will be a pass, um, or in my case, a return, is the newly formulated liquid lipstick by KVD. I mean, if you guys remember back in the day when these first came out by KVD, they were very good. They were a little drying, but at that time, we didn't really have a lot of different options. A lot of liquid lipsticks were drying, and we just sort of accepted that that's what it was, and you could either choose to wear them or not. But they did last a long time. So this came out, there's eight new colors in this new formula. I have it in the color Pale Harlequin, and I had purchased this to put in the Friday Face Off with the Gwen Stefani's liquid lipstick. And once I started reading the reviews, I thought there's no way I could review this against that one only because I had such a bad impression of it after reading so many one-star reviews of how drying it was as a formula. If a product starts off with that many negative reviews, I don't know that I would put it in a Friday face-off. Uh, several of the reviews, page one, page two, they were all one-star reviews, said that this new formula that comes in the eight shades was really, really drying. So I didn't put it in the Friday face-off, but I wanted to know, I was curious, well, is it, is it, it, would it dry my lips as well? Or would it be a good product that I should bring to you guys? So I wore it um, for a day and during that day, I had to take it off at about the three and a half hour mark because my lips just felt parched. They felt um, dry. They felt like, not like they were gonna crack, but you know that tingly feeling that you get that's not a good tingly feeling? Maybe tingly is the wrong word. More of a, it's not an ache. It's more of a, it's just a little bit of a burn maybe where it's dry. I don't know how else to describe it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That's what I felt with this. So I'm gonna have to give this a hard pass. So that unfortunately was a no-go, but there is a KVD. I don't know why I kept the box, just so I guess so I could share it with you guys. Maybe I open it. The new KVD uh, Good Apple Foundation. This is the new one that just recently came out. This is a full coverage serum foundation. <sighs> For those of you that are like me that like a full coverage foundation, um, this is it. This is a really good one. Now, I would say because it has serum in it, if you have oily skin, you'll wanna apply a mattifying primer first and then put this over it, just so you don't get that foundation slipping. But when I tell you guys, the only reason this is, oh, that's why this is in the box, because I need to go get another color. I got the wrong color. Apparently I've done that a lot this month. Um, it's a thick foundation, it is full coverage, but it is beautiful. It, there's no flashback with it. I tried that. A little bit goes a long way, and I think part of it is because of that serum. It dries down to a satin finish, and it lasted all day without a powder, without a primer. I didn't use either. I might have used setting spray the days that I tested this. In fact, I'm sure I, because I usually do, so I would think that I did. The glass bottle is gorgeous. I mean, it's in classic KVD design, and this bottle carries on that legacy for sure. It's really, really beautiful. So I need to take it back because I got the wrong color. Mario and KVD. Next is this flat iron that is a cordless flat iron that was sent to me in PR by a company called Sunmay, and I get a lot of request to just try products and share them with you guys online and I turn a lot of them down. This one I was like, wait a minute, let me just check that out because if it is works as good as everybody says it does and it's really small and compact and it's rechargeable and I can use it not on the road because we won't drive and do our hair, but if I can grab it and have it like out and about, then that would probably be pretty convenient. I also thought my bonus daughter's gonna be in college next year. I thought this would probably be great for a college student because they never know where they're gonna be and I can see them wanting to, you know, girls, we gotta do our hair. This charges on a USB and a USB-C. It takes about two to two and a half hours to get a full charge and can last about 35 minutes on a charge if you have this on the lowest heat setting. It has three heat settings and goes all the way up to 365 degrees. It takes just a minute to heat up and then you are good to go. And this leads me into the next exciting product. And I shared this with you guys. This was also gifted to me. And I have, I have enjoyed these things, I gotta say. I've had some pretty big fun hair days. These are the Doors hair extensions. And they come in a variety of colors. 
several different lengths. But if you found that you're thinning on the side or if you're thinning maybe on the top, maybe you're just gonna have a really big hair day, maybe you're gonna wear a hat and you want just lots of hair coming out from underneath it, there are so many different reasons that you can put these in and out. And the way that they go in and out creates no damage to your hair. And I'll show you what that is. I'm gonna leave that there for a second. Depending on which product from them you purchase, you get a lot of different sizes. So this one, for example, has three clips, which would be great for the side. You could also use this around the back. <laughs> there are some that have, and then there are also some in this kit that have four clips that make it a little bit wider. It's this, this little clip right here. It's very easy and it's super thin up here at the top where this clip and the hairline meet so that when you're wearing it, you don't have this bulky look to your head, which can sometimes be a little bit of a dead giveaway for extensions. And I find that I reach for this single clip a lot just to give me a little bit of volume right back through here. The easiest way I have found to wear these and to apply them, if you will, is after I wash my hair, dry my hair, make sure my hair is really dry. And then I like to put these in and then style, style last so that you're also styling the extension. So if you have a certain kind of curl or a certain wave, it just goes with the flow of that curl or that wave. And you can take these to your stylist and have them put them in as they're cutting your hair so that they're really designed for your hairstyle and it just adds more volume to your style versus looks a little distracting. So don't be afraid to take them with you on your next appointment to the stylist. So these are real simple, especially when I'm using this cordless flat iron. I'm gonna add a little bit of curl to this just so it'll blend nicely into my hairstyle today. And this is human hair so you can wash it and curl it just like you would your normal hair. I mean, look at how beautiful that curl is. That was super easy. See how easy this is to do. You guys, I literally just take a little bit of hair and pull it off to the side. And I'm doing, I'm gonna do this without a mirror, so it may not look as good. And then you just open the clip, go down on the root, give it a nice little tug just so I know it's secure, and then snap it into place. And then I like to hold it where I put it in and just give it a little tug so it really allows the teeth of that clasp to hold onto the hair. And then bring your hair back over it so that it's not visible. And you can put these up high, you can put them down low if you just wanna add a little bit of volume to the bottom. But just like that, you've added some volume to your hair for a fun special night out. Maybe you're gonna be out somewhere all day and you just wanna have a little bit fun hairstyle. These can be a lot of fun and allow you a level of creativity as you're doing your look every day or you wanna just change it up for a special night out. If you're going to a friend's birthday party or a high school reunion and you just want to have a little bit of an extra you know wow factor then i have found these to be way more fun than i expected them to be and a big thank you to doors hair extension for sending these to me and for providing you guys a discount code which i'll link down below uh, if you want to have fun with just some fun hair well i'm glad we're going to end on a good note I hope you guys enjoyed this video and more importantly, I hope you found an idea or two for some products that might solve some of the beauty challenges or beauty issues that you're having. Make sure that you like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.